Welcome, 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 levelers. It is me, Level Lee, and we are back and we are headed to work. Today, we are going to do another build in Happy Home Paradise. So, guys, remember to like the video, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit the bell if you want to be notified. I post a video every week. And my links are in the descriptions for my socials. So now we are talking to Lottie. We are going to go ahead and get to work. So right now we are going to head back to Olivia's house from our first build and take some pictures. Lottie wants to upload some pictures to Happy Home Network. So we're gonna head back there um nico is the one who takes us anywhere we go so nico allows us to travel back to our previous builds and either remodel them or you know just take some pictures or that's how we'll like uh, we can tour other people too well actually wardell takes you to tour other people's islands or builds but nico helps you tour the ones you've done so we're here with olivia and i took some pictures and now we're going to head back to the office so now we're getting paid for our work our picture taking but i i decided not to do a remodel so i didn't decorate her outside of the house or the actual house um, I just didn't really have time to do that, but I really do want to go back and do that. I don't think I'm going to put it into a video, though. But you get 2,000 Pokey for doing any kind of remodels. We're going to head outside and see who the villagers are on the beach and what they're looking for. So usually I go by the cuteness of the villager and how interested I am in their theme. I usually would have went with Tasha, but I've already done a home for Tasha, so I wanted to do somebody new. So I picked Deirdre. Deirdre wanted a vacation home where it was fall all the time, and fall is my favorite season. So I decided to go with that, and I've never really done fall theme um, build before. So here we go. So the name of her theme is A Little Slice of Fall, and her required furniture is the leaf campfire, the mush table, and the tree's bounty lamp. And now it's time to pick an island. I decided to go with an island with a fall theme, so it fits her theme. And so we picked a spot. I don't know if she liked it too much when we got there, but we picked a spot and now we are headed there. So I went with a wood theme for the exterior of the house. I used the log staircase with both of the inclines. And for the house exterior, I used a cabin feel, so the log cabin. And I tried to stick with fall colors for the colors on the outside of the house. So I used a yellow cabin, the log cabin, and then a red door and then a brown roof. I kept it pretty simple, and a mushroom reef. I thought the mushroom reef was really, really cute. So now we're inside the house. I'm opening up the packages. Um, I end up using only two of the recommended, um, or the required items inside the house. And now I'm going to pick out our wallpapers. So I ended up going with the yellow paint wall that was not recommended, but I used the accent wall. I used the autumn wall for the accent. I thought it was really cute and it was giving fall. And then for the flooring, I used the colored leaves flooring because it matched the autumn wall. Next, we're going to get our furniture together. So I used a lot of mush elements and I used a lot of wood elements. 
and I so you see the mush lamp and some of the wood furniture and I wanted to keep these things going throughout the whole of the inside because oh and I, I used them outside too because it really gave fall and I also used some piles of leaves so it could really look like the like the outside was coming inside Next, I was looking for a big piece to go in the room and the big pieces are essential. I decided to go with the mush table. It was a nice touch and I didn't really like it brown so I decided to change the color to yellow so it would stand out but it also matched the room. I wanted it to really like be the centerpiece of the room so I decided to put it like right across from the door in the middle and then I added some mush low stools and I mixed up the colors for those because you know you gotta play with colors fall has a lot of colors so I wanted to incorporate like most of what the color palette is for fall I really do wish I used more green in this build overall I did use some but it wasn't to my satisfaction when I watched it back Right here, I was liking how my centerpiece was looking, but it wasn't standing out enough for me. So I decided to add the rug to make it stand out from the rest of the floor. And it really did. I really liked it. So right here, I was looking for a bed to use. The bed is another big piece. It's really important to the room. And I was struggling with which one to use. I tried this antique bed, but I really thought it was too formal for the room. So I got rid of it and I tried again with the log garden lounge. I changed it to an orange wood, added a red little pillow, and it looked really good. Now I needed another big piece to go in the room. Everything was looking a little too low and I wanted something else to stand out. So I went with the wooden bookshelf and I made it brown to bring all the colors together in the room. On the right side of the room, it was a looking a little low over there, so I decided to add a plant. The plant added the color I really wanted. I added the green. It added the height that I needed, and it also adds a variety to the room. It looks pretty different from whatever else is in the room. So 
So I was satisfied with all the furniture I had. So now I moved on to the rugs and I decided with the yellow small round mat and then I went with a red small round mat. They just added a little coziness to the room and separated some of the spaces and it looked really nice. Next we're gonna go to the wall. I added two of the recommended items and then I moved on to the accent wall. I wanted to kind of create a barrier between the outside and the inside, like a realistic barrier. So I decided to go with some windows. I really wish I did have the long windows to go all the way down. It looked a little bit more modern, but I had some brown windows that I went with and then I added some black curtains on the side to make it just a little bit more realistic. I had forgot about the miscellaneous items, so I moved back to the floor, and I really did stick with the recommended items. I did not have a lot of space to put a lot of miscellaneous items, so I stuck with some recommended items and then added some food. So, I was satisfied with how the miscellaneous items turned out. I didn't think we needed any more. So, I moved back to the walls. And, not gonna lie, you guys, my best friend watched my last build. And, she gave me a little of a critique. She said that I went a little crazy on the walls. Like, I need to hold back a little bit. So, I took her critique to heart. I really tried on this build to keep the wall decorations to a minimum. So, I think I did a pretty good job. Tell me what you think in the comments.
see i told you guys i kept it to a minimum well, i'm satisfied with what's on the walls and we're going to head to the ceiling i didn't add much on the ceiling i added one hanging shelf and some lighting so not much at all I decided on the hanging light bulb for the lighting. I really do wish I had kept it black though. I think it would have stood out more. It really blended in with the copper. So I was satisfied with the inside, so I decided to go ahead and change Deirdre's outfit. I went with a little fall outfit. It was giving date night at the pumpkin patch. It was really cute, um, with the white and the tan, and the glasses really just set it off. But now we're going outside, and let's get to decorating. I added the last of the required items, the leaf campfire, and then I added the rest of the big items that I want to use, and I went ahead and arranged them where I wanted them. Um, I ended up adding some more items, or like just duplicating some of these and changing the colors up to fit how I really want to fit. I needed a little bit more red outside, it wasn't giving enough red, so I added some red and some yellows some browns and some oranges you know fall colors um but i kept it pretty simple with the decorations i added some seating options with the wild logs and yeah so now i started with the fencing i went with the log wall fence first and i went every other space and then I went back in with the barbed wire fence so I alternated them and I did this on bleach recently and I really really liked it so I tried to incorporate it here So I started duplicating stuff and moving some stuff around and I added more seating. I just felt like there wasn't enough around. I wanted to fill up the space.
the space still wasn't feeling very full so i went in with some plants i decided on some cedar trees i put those in different heights to make it more dynamic and then i went in later with some bushes Now I'm going in with some bushes. I picked the hibiscus bush and I really liked how this color added to the build. And then later I add the hydrangea bush and the hydrangea bush added even a better color. I really liked it. It was real light green. It was really cute. So I keep these bushes and I, and I arrange them around the build. So I decided to lay some path down because the, the ground looked a little bare. So I used some custom designs, but I did not have any fall themed custom designs, which is a little sad, but they still worked out. So guys, I was finally satisfied with the outside and now we are ready for our montage because we're all done. Our montage is all done so now it is time to take some pictures for happy home network and head out
Now we're saying goodbye to Deirdre. Thank you for having us, letting us decorate your home. And we are headed back to the office and we see Wardell doing something. He's polishing something. It's all shiny. So this polishing is a feature you get to use in the homes. And Wardell eventually gives it to you. And there are multiple different things you can polish things with. So my favorite is the butterflies. You get to add butterflies on things. We're getting paid our 6,000 pokey. And now we're all done. We're not gonna keep working. And we're gonna head outside and wrap this up. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for coming back with me to Happy Home Paradise and doing another build. Thank you so much for liking, guys. I see you liking and subscribing. I see your comments. I love all your comments here and on Instagram. I see you guys. My socials are in the description. So click the link tree and it will head you to all of my socials. So next week, we will be back on Opal. I am ready for an entrance build. Guys, it's been so long since we've been on Opal. But we will be ready for an entrance build. So this is very exciting. And this is the end of the video, the sad part. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for coming back. Bye.